Hello all you lovely people on the internet. It is 2015 and I got myself a new camera for Christmas so I decided I'll do one video now using the new camera, same old board, same old setup and one thing that I randomly bought for myself which is an Autobot shaped mug. Okay, so this is just more or less getting to know my camera sort of thing, my new camera which is replacing my old camera. I'm, I've done some test footage with it before but not a proper review like this uh, and obviously you're not going to see the test footage because it's test footage. Why would I show you test footage? Maybe, maybe not. Right now I'm not even going to contemplate that at this point. Just to show you what I used to use, this was a Canon camera. Let's just see, there's no autofocus on this, you have to do it manually, there we go. Just a press of a button and everything's in focus, oh, how nice and lovely that is. And quite frankly, I quite like this camera, it's decent enough, massive power pack in the back. Uh, lens at the front and so on and so forth, there's your viewfinder. It turns itself on automatically when you do that, it turns itself off automatically, but that's just that. The sound quality isn't as good as what I get on this thing, the picture quality certainly isn't as good. Uh, but it's decent enough, but it was maybe a little more than it should have been, but it was relatively cheap and good quality compared to everything else that was available in the shop at the time. But let's take a look at this. This is an Autobot mug. There we go, all focused. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to that focusing manually like that, uh, but it does the trick quite nicely, whereas the autofocus and the old camera took forever and a day to do that. So let's just take a look at the packaging first. Standard little box, Autobot logo on the back, various designs of various Autobots, let's see... Oh, it's Optimus Prime through the ages, so there's his original appearance. Uh, let's see... Power Master, some other variant that I don't quite recognise, and that... Looks like another variant of Power Master. Uh, so yes, so this is basically Prime in the comic books. Uh, his original body there. Until he decided to cheat at a video game and decided to kill himself because of it. True story, look it up. And came back as a Power Master, which was basically, within the comics, a smaller robot version that was his regular self. A copy of his original body, supposedly. The toy looked nothing alike. Uh, in that regard. That would combine with the trailer to form an even bigger, more powerful version. Uh, of course, depending on who the artist was, because in some cases it didn't really make much difference. So there you go. An Autobot shaped mug. So how do we open this? It's a great difficulty when you consider I'm behind a camera trying to open this without damaging the box too much. There we go. That's one bit open. That's the other bit open. These bits presumably are to help keep it nice and secure. <laughs> and of course it's impossible to get out of the box without damaging it in some way or getting it Oh, there we are. Nice little touch with the packaging on the inside. You see the square design here, which I'm assuming is supposed to be... First of all, it's an Autobot Killers, but I'm also supp supposing it's supposed to show the electronic nature of the Transformers and that they are robots and therefore don't think the same way we do. Their minds aren't the same. But that's the box, and this is the mug, and the Autobot logo. <laughs> and straight away you see inside, it's not a rounded mug. It's literally shaped like a D, with a handle on the top. Uh, nice little bit of curvature and so on. Bit of bump on the bottom there, 2013 Hasbro copyright. Paladeo, not suitable for dishwashers or microwave use. So in other words, um, <laughs> don't put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> Not sure why. Um, hmm. Don't you put it in the microwave? Very rare I put mugs in the microwave, to be honest. But it's a nice, nice representation of the Autobot uh, symbol, badge, faction, logo, whatever you want to call it. Um, catches light quite nicely. It's nice and shiny. The handle's actually quite comfortable. You can only get three fingers in, but. Well, that's pretty much true of every mug I've ever held. Uh, what would it be like for drinking from? Mm -hmm. Well, this raise bit here does raise a few issues. Ugh. Yes. Terrible 
terrible pun, although the pun was not intended. Let's just see. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to get some water, because that's all I've got in the house at the moment. I'm going to fill it up, and I'm going to take a sip from it. I've got to say, I do have my suspicions about that ridge, because it does seem somewhat suspicious. There we go, a good bit of water. So here we go, just show you first and foremost. It's just liquid in the... Uh, just knock the camera a bit. It's just liquid in, in a cup, a funny shaped cup. It's like that Bruce Lee metaphor about being one with water, be like water. And that water takes and adopts the shape of whatever it's inside. And it's free flowing and so on and so forth. He had a point to me, but I can't remember what the point was. I don't think it's entirely relevant, but when you see that ridge there, I am suspicious that if I try s taking a sip from my, uh, with my lips like that, I'm probably going to end up dribbling it all over myself. Um, hmm. Whereas if you drink it the normal way along that side, it probably wouldn't. Shall we see? Well, no dribble, although it does feel quite awkward to drink with your lips around that bit. Using it this way... Yes, far more easily. Far more easily done. Um, yeah, works better that way. Works, although you do feel like you're tempting fate a bit. You know what, I think, more than actually using this for drinking, I think I'll just put it on display somewhere. That would seem to be far more appropriate. What would it be like to use that, that angle, I wonder? Let's see. <sighs> yep, again, awkward. <laughs> Possible, but awkward. Uh, so in conclusion, I would have to say, don't actually use it for drinking as such, just use it as a display item and hope the dust doesn't get inside it. Uh, if you are going to drink it, use it that way. Cheers!